Back in 2004, Hurricane Ivan decimated the Gulf Coast. We were without power for about a month where I lived in Pensacola, Florida. We didn't have electricity for lights at nighttime. There was no air conditioner or even fans. We had no way to cook our meals. We actually had to rely on MREs that was handed out by the city. Nowadays, we've got tons of options for power backup. In this video, I'll be partnering with Anchor to take a look at the Anchor Solex F3000. This is the perfect solution for extended outages like the one that we experienced during Hurricane Ivan. Let's go ahead and get started. For me, the worst part about being without power for 30 days during Hurricane Ivan were those crummy MREs. Now, we were grateful to have food, but the little heat packets put off this awful odor and it like got into the food so you could taste it as well. Uh, but with the F3000, if you have a prolonged power outage, you're gonna be able to cook a full meal. This unit puts out 3,600 watts of power, which should be plenty of power to power up the appliances that we would need to cook a full meal. I've already got my refrigerator plugged in here. The refrigerator's not really drawing much power at all, only about 100 watts when I open the refrigerator and the condenser has to kick back on. So even with that going the whole time, we should be able to power everything up. I do wanna see what this is capable of. So I'm gonna go ahead and power up all three of these at the same time. So we've got an air fryer here. We'll turn that on. Uh, maybe we wanna boil some water here. We'll go ahead and turn that on full power. And we've got a kettle over here. All three of these have heating elements, which means they're gonna consume a ton of power. Uh, let's see what we're at here on the machine. And it looks like we're running at 4,230 watts. Now this is supposed to be capable of 3,600 watts. It looks like it can go a little higher up. So I really wanna put this to the test here. I'm gonna test how this would work if we had all of these going at once. So we've got our kettle running here. It's getting the boiling water ready for our ramen noodles. Should take seven minutes here at 390. So we'll go ahead and set this to 390. We'll get that going. And then we'll get some soup going as well. That way there's something here that everybody can enjoy. Another thing that's great about this is it does have a 3,600 watts of pass through. So you can actually connect a gas power generator to this and it's gonna be able to charge this up at 3,600 watts while also outputting 3,600 watts to your appliances. So if you do have some really important crucial appliances like your refrigerator, your deep freezer, those can stay plugged in and powered while you are charging the unit. This is able to charge really quickly with that 3,600 watts of charging through a gas generator. So you could potentially just run your gas generator for like an hour and a half at a time while it charges this versus having to power it up the entire day. So that saves you in fuel costs. It also helps to eliminate both noise and air pollution. All right, so our kettle just finished boiling the water. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these ramen noodles going. These are like a staple for my seven-year-old steeping in the boiling water. All right, our soup's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the burner, and that's ready to serve. We're about a minute left on the chicken. Our popcorn chicken nuggets here are ready to go, and we've only depleted the battery by about 15% running all of these different appliances. Another great thing about the F3000 setup is that if you pair two of those together, you actually get 240 volts of output. So you can power up things like your dryer for your clothing or your stove um, can also be powered up and you get 7,200 watts of output. So you'd be able to power up your stove, your microwave, plus all the other appliances that we were testing earlier. During a prolonged power outage, I'm still gonna have to be able to work. So I'm gonna need all of my office to be up and running. And this has plenty of power to power up my entire desk setup. I've got my studio lights on. Uh, this is charging up my laptop, all of my other accessories here. I've even got my modem powered up, so I've got internet. During Ivan, it only took the cable company about a week to get the cable back up and running, but the power company still took another uh, three weeks. So even though there was the capability of having internet, I had no power. So with this setup, I'd be able to take advantage of the internet, even though power hasn't been totally restored. With everything here powered up, this is only running at about 250 watts, which would give me enough juice for the entire day before I would need to plug this into the gas generator for a recharge. During Ivan, it was pretty much bare bones. We had battery powered flashlights, we had candles, 
and I guess we had like a hand crank radio so we could keep up with the news. But with the F3000, you're gonna stay pretty comfortable even in prolonged power outages. The kids can watch TV, I've got it plugged up here with the surround sound. Um, you could have a fan going in another room and then we can get the portable AC going here. With the AC going full power and the fan, the TV, we're running at about 700 watts. So we still have plenty of headroom here. We can still power up cell phones, laptops, uh, the Nintendo Switch with the outlets and the headroom. One thing that's great about the F3000 is you can actually run two of these together to get up to 7,200 watts of output. So you can actually run an entire central air conditioner with this setup. There are tons of charging options with the F3000. When it comes to solar charging, you actually have dual solar input ports here. One supports 165 volts and 1600 watts, while the other one supports 60 volts and 800 watts. This way you're able to use both foldable and rigid panels. You can even pair four rigid panels in series for maximum efficiency. The most crucial things that you'll need power for during a prolonged power outage definitely to be your refrigerator and your deep freezer. I'm actually gonna test the low load capabilities of the F3000 overnight, powering up the refrigerator, which doesn't use a whole lot of power. The F3000 is actually the industry's longest lasting three kilowatt hour power station with a standby time of about 125 hours. This can run as low as 24.4 watts when it's powering something with low consumption like a refrigerator that really only has to turn on uh, long enough to power the condenser so it can keep the temperature inside the refrigerator. So we'll leave this powered up overnight and see how much it drains from 100%. So the refrigerator here has been running on the F3000 for about eight hours. Let's see where we're at on our consumption. So we still have 96% left. Now this says that we should be good for 23 hours, but if you do the math, this can go for much longer than 23 hours just running something like the refrigerator. This is expandable all the way up to 24 kilowatt hours, allowing you to customize for energy needs by stacking expansion batteries. You can use up to three packs for 12 kilowatt hours when solo or six packs for 24 kilowatt hours in a parallel configuration. This is enough to power up my entire home if I'm not using the power conservatively or enough power for multiple day use if I'm powering up my essential appliances only. Built to last, the F3000 uses long lasting lasting LFP battery cells that retain 80% capacity even after 4,000 charge cycles. With daily use, you can expect it to last up to 10 years. If you're looking for serious backup power, fast solar charging, and full whole home power capabilities, whether for emergencies, off-grid living, or just peace of mind, the F3000 is one of the most capable and expandable power stations out there. I'll be sure to leave links in the description so you can find out more information about the Anchor Solex F3000 and purchase one for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.